we've just left Kampala for Arua, which is seven and a half hours by road, in order to engage in Christian Muslim dialogue at the encampment. Travelling through the game reserve, we came across a very nasty accident indeed, where 14 people had lost their lives. Indeed, life is very, very precious, and no, no one knows when Allah will take yours. A little later on, we witnessed a crowd around, around the uh, elephant that had been hit by the coach. Everything was being taken like there was no hereafter. These people needed to reflect on what they were doing. Every time human life is lost and those people died without knowing Islam, we have to ask ourselves, why didn't we help them to know? And this is exactly what we were doing in Arawa at the Christian-Muslim dialogue there, engaging with people and helping them to understand the purpose of life before, too, their lives were taken. Yes, for their salvation, they have to believe in a concept that makes no sense to you and your entire salvation lies upon it. And it's not even mentioned in their books. The cross of Christianity is Jesus is God and he died for you. Yet nowhere in the Bible does Jesus ever say that I am God, you have to worship me. He never says that I transfer the prejudice. At the end of the day, 14 people took shahada in a crowd of 4,000 people and the day ended in a great way.